Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in our parallel playthrough of the Tour de France 2021 in Pro Cycling Manager 2021 and today is the very last of the big mountain stages and what a stage it is because we have the Col de Tourmalet as well as finishing up in Luz Ardiden and that is two mighty climbs that need to be conquered today. Our guys are still doing pretty well, somehow we found ourselves in third place with Alaphilippe once again and we are still leading in the green jersey and second place there too. So um, going pretty well overall I would say and let's see if that sticks around because I I'm just waiting for the day where we get a shit race day condition for Alaphilippe on one of those super important stages and that might just be today. Okay, let's find out. Hello and welcome to all. The two Pyrenean giants on the menu, the Tourmalet and Luz Ardiden, the pure climbers will have a last chance to distance their ruler opponents before the final time trial of this tour. Indeed, that is the case. And we do have a slight positive news to share. That is uh, Alaphilippe at plus one. And uh, his helpers, uh, Devonance, yeah, plus one too. Uh, excellent. Um, so that is the first climb. That is the first downhill. That is the second climb and the final one. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of recovery going on after the first one. That's a long, long descent. How long, many kilometers is that? That's 20 kilometers of just riding down here. It's pretty awesome. Um, but first, we have to ride basically 40 kilometers of uphill, which is less awesome. And so, yeah, overall, pretty easy to pace, though, because it's very steady in slope. Uh, the final climb, not as much. But uh, yes, we shall see how that goes. I will definitely have to grind my way up there. Alaphilippe is taking a position up front. I am thinking about maybe... Ah, Ballerini is all the way back there. I would like to get Ballerini in the escape group just to have a chance at grabbing the maximum points right there. Wouldn't that be a good tactic overall? I think so. Um, yes, but getting him to the front is another story. So let's see if that happens. Nah, doesn't look like it. These guys are already going. Mars, Nibali, Bagil. Yeah, they're already off. Ooh, this looks like a free fall. So many riders going. Are there more going? Let's. Uh, don't block me, bro! I think there might be. Yeah, someone is going there. But I don't think that is going to be met with uh, applause. Uh, yeah, we can barely follow them. They're really chasing hard. Don't want to have any more riders up front. Ten riders at the moment. Almost two minutes on the clock. Yeah. I don't think that is going to be all too great to now try and bridge the gap with Ballerini himself. So, uh, what we are going to do is take a look at this one here. Tenth spot gives six points. Mm, there are ten riders up front, so it's uh, nine we would be getting if we win this sprint. Uh, I think that's still fine. So uh, let's position up front and just uh, take an easy ride. Ooh, the breakaway is being pressured a little. Not sure what's going on there. Just 1 minute 45? Yeah, they are keeping them on a pretty tight leash. All right, so what we're going to do here is that only our sprinter guy is going out. Ballerini is being led out by none other than Mark Cavendish. Because he's not feeling all too awful today. So uh, that's a first timer almost. 4.8 kilometers remaining. Let's get out to the side here. Maybe go a little slower. Ballerini, where are you? Come on, mate. Is it so difficult to just not ram people's uh, asses? That would be fantastic if it weren't. Uh, 2.7. Let's accelerate. Let's go hard. We do need a bit more speed. Come on. Come on. Uh, that is two kilometers still remaining. We are in a very nice position. Are you actually going that hard? It doesn't look like it. 
Is everyone going hard? 49 kilometers now? Yeah, yeah, okay. There is the kilometer marker, so Kevin just needs to sprint now. Come on, go, 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 go. Oh, uh? okay. No, no one else wants to contest? Are they all empty or something? All right, um, well, Ballerini is going now. And can he steal it from Cavendish? Yes, there you go. Okay, beautiful lead out, mate. Beautiful lead out. Whew, they're going hard or even on this little, just third cat, fourth category climb we had there. Yeah, and now we are on the false flat that lasts forever. That's also a little nasty. Um, yes, they are going way too hard already. They're just going way too hard in every little one of these steps. Ah, uh, what to do, what to do. I don't want to go harder than this because that thing is going to absolutely destroy us. Um, what happened here? Uh, uh, what? Wh why are my guys back here in 14 minutes behind? Huh. Maybe they were at the back after they joined and then they ripped over the little crest there. Well, that's not great. Um, that is definitely not great. Can they make the time limit from here? Maybe if they work together. That also means that I am without my best helper, but Cataneo is here. So that's always a plus. And we are now in the biggest of the climbs. Col du Tourmalé. It's another 12 kilometers to the, to the summit. So I'm going to... Come on. Move out of the way. Yes. Um, so I'm going to take it easy here. Very easy. Yeah, I can see them like going slowly, accelerating, and then slowing down again. There you see that effect, yes. Um, is it going to narrow down as well on the road? Not so sure, but uh, yes. I'm just trying to keep as steady a pace as I can. That will be beneficial. Oop. That does look, however, as if we are being left behind a little too early. So let's jump to 75 speed. And yes, lots of empty-legged people here, including my team members. Oh, no, no. Oh, wow, wow that was a burst of speed. Wow, they're just just hammering away <clears throat> so now everyone thinks that Alaphilippe is done for the day but no he isn't far from it we'll be back 2.5 kilometers left to go and how far behind are we right now I need to check where the penalton is uh, there's the group of favorites over there in the long descent I think a few groups will come together and uh, start chasing a bit more and there we go Cataneo couldn't follow Alaphilippe is on the march and we are getting into a nice group here oh that's just so many riders along the road and yeah yeah we are in a nice group here all right so let's hang in there let's grab some water and then see how we are fair out don't fall back. Good. Whew, okay. Okay, the Peloton, well, 20 riders right there, um, is not too far off. 40-something seconds, one minute behind. Uh, Pearls is doing some pulling. Only 30 seconds behind now. There they are. Everyone is back. And I think we are going to make it back into the group as expected. Yes. Yes, there we are. Reconnected. Beautiful. Are we going to recover fully? I believe so. This is looking really solid. So Lys Ariden is a... Uh, oh, also a 14 kilometer climb. Mm-hmm. Tumale looked quite a bit worse. Uh, that was average percentage 8.3 and now we are going on a 7.4. So yeah, it's a fair bit easier. But has this very steep section there in the middle. Alright, uh, we are now in the flat, right down there in the valley. Waiting for the next climb to start. Fully recovered. The time is indeed to dig deep, but problem being that it's 13.5 kilometers, so how deep are you really wanting to dig? 
uh, right at the start. Not much is the answer. I hope they are going to attack and just blow apart everything that is that is in here in this little peloton group. Um, so far, not. Who's going there? Gordu. And Quintana is going. And everyone is accelerating too. That's of course great news. Especially if they then slow down again. That is just wasted energy. Uh, Aranbo is going as well. Shelling and Mohorich. 10.6 kilometers remaining and we're still in this group. The lead group now has 40 seconds advantage. I think at this point we can actually accelerate a bit. Go 75 and see if we can hang with them. We're still considered in this group getting slipstream, but soon not. There we are no longer in it. Uh, yeah, not too bad. 6%. Now we are back, back in it. And going to catch those who fall off the rear like ripe uh, rider fruit. So, ah, come on. Ride a little faster. There you go. Still another 7 kilometers to go. And 5 kilometers. Ah, are we in the steep bit? No, we are past the steep bit. I think we can go a little bit faster. So let's up the tempo. We need to ride this as smoothly as possible once again. Ah, don't get stuck behind fat asses, you idiot. Just riding nicely towards the end. We can go even a little bit faster now. And let's activate a bar. Come on. Go, 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 go. We're not too far behind. And I don't think it will be much more than what we currently have because we still have some juice in us. Uh, yeah, looking decent enough. Looking decent enough. We are going to use up all our energy, that's for sure. Come on. 700 meters left. We are holding it constant, basically. There is the group. And 400 meters left. Yeah, I definitely wasn't able to hold the group of favorites there. Let's uh, speed up for the final bit. Come on. And used all our energy there. All right. All right. That was as well as we could have done that. Maybe. Nah, not, not quite. But pretty close to. Could have gone a little harder at the start and held the penalton for a little bit longer. But uh, that was solid. And Cavendish coming over the line at uh, what time? Where are you, mate? There he goes. All right. And, oh, look look who won. All right, podium time. There we go. Bogaccia takes the win in front of Roglic, who was out sprinted today. Kelderman is third on the day. And the big group, or a big group of riders, was just 21 seconds down. Let's take a look at the yellow jersey standings then. We have been washed down to fifth place. Uh, but, yeah. We, we, we lost that minute or so there, uh, one and a half. And not much I can do about it with that mountain stat, but uh, yeah, pretty, pretty solid riding, keeping our losses contained. Roglic now in polka dots, and uh, if we go over to the results page, we can uh, see that we indeed still hold the greenest of jerseys, two of them. Uh, yes, Alaphilippe is still leading. Well, well ahead of uh, oh, Roglic now in third. Wow. But after this stage, after the mountains, we have the following situation. Uh, we have Uran in front of us and uh, Miguel Angel Lopez as well. Maybe we can catch Lopez in the time trial. That would be pretty good. But then again, we have Thomas behind us and he's not far behind us. I don't think we can beat him in the time trial or only lose uh, how many ever seconds this is 13 yeah that's too tight all right i think that is it and tomorrow's stage is one for the sprinters i hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time hey you there i heard you like cycling games i think i got something for you here the Cyclist Tactics is a turn-based strategy game in which you lead a small team of professional cyclists from humble beginnings to competing for the top of the podium in the toughest and most prestigious cycling events in the world.
In the highly tactical, procedurally generated races, success comes about when superior decision-making meets careful resource management and planning. Teamwork is essential to keep your leaders protected, avoid peloton pulling duties, create lactate threshold crushing lead outs and to set up your lead rider in perfect position for the final dash. Guide your team's riders as they gain skills and progress from struggling eager novices to monument winning superstars with a hefty price tag and more flaws than they started with. If you fancy Nuance tactics where decision making is king, follow the game's development and try out the demo.